Ladies and gents, welcome back to Break the Record Live, featuring Dark Souls Remastered and the All Bosses category. My name is Bowie the Hero, I'm your host, and I'm joined by two of our wonderful Speed Souls commentators, Duck and Capitan, as we are uh, into day three, the final day of our three-day time trial marathon here for um, yeah, for this community. There's a $5,000 prize pool at stake for our seven runners who have been spending the last two days and even the rest of today grinding out runs to get uh, the fastest time they can and, of course, beat the world record. And we have uh, one of the big, the most important fights starting right now for Catalyst. So let's get oh, straight no. into the action. Oof. What? Oh, he did. Okay. Okay. So, what? That's two great heavies. Oh, yeah. But wait, was it <laughs> intentional that he did that? No, I think he switched spells and then cast too early. Because it is, as you saw, still a three shot. Yeah, and it's booking. and it's annoying because he's close on like tiny amount of hit points. Did he? No, he didn't get the. Yeah, he okay, missed. But he got the over the shoulder. Ah. Um. <laughs> I don't know if he meant to free aim that. He is free aiming a lot. Oh gosh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not Slow the best, phase two. But... But... Phase one was decent, especially given that he cast the wrong spell. Yeah, you, you can get a two shot, but you need to, I don't know exactly how much, but somewhere between the 51, they have in like 80, which is what you can get. Yeah, because like the, the damage bonus is really slow after 50, right? Yeah, it, it slows down a lot, but I mean, the, the extra levels they get, are still necessary for the route. Um, there's quite a few damage gates, which are like, I think four kings is like somewhere in the 60s is mm -hmm. the absolute minimum. But if you only get that much, you have to hit every dark bead. Oh yeah, and so you don't want to do that. Time. Yeah. Um, I think when I did it at some point, it was like 65, but that might've had also a bit more strength, which does increase your dark bead damage. For some um, reason. Yeah. <laughs> Like you, what, what, what is? How is it? You like, just, do you just, you just hold the the catalyst throw tighter? Your catalyst like... harder, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you add velocity. Like you're swinging your arm, and it's just that motion actually adds to the velocity of the dark beads, ah, and so they do more damage. Sense. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Uh, so Can't argue with that logic. Cats are doing catalyst. the last big upgrade. Uh, yeah. After after getting the eight million souls, just post kind of O and S. It does the last big upgrade in terms of stats and buys the last few spells he needs from Logan here. Yeah, uh, and you so... see, he stands and makes sure he listens to those lines of dialogue, essential lines of dialogue. Otherwise, you come back to buy more soul spears, and Logan's still sat there, you know, and uh, that's your run. <laughs> kind of. So, uh, a kind of like um, update as well about how this is rolling. Uh, all of our runners have 12 hours a day to put times in. So they we we started at 1 p.m. CET, and we will be going on until 1 a.m. CET. That is the last time a run can start. So we could go beyond 1 a.m. at yeah. CET, oh. but uh, as long as it, as long as that last run is started at that point, um, that's the last run that our runners will be able to do. And this is our final day, so there's a lot of uh, tension here as the time is running out to get that record broken. Catalyst is our current leader. You can see the standings. I'll, I'll even bring up the leaderboard because I love the leaderboard. Bosh. Nice. Um, it's uh, looking pretty good. Um, we have one runner who has yet to kind of break down below oh. the uh, 110 mark as mintius earlier got a 109.52 uh so it's looking pretty damn good for our runners but uh you know more to be more to happen oh my god so. yeah oh. i mean at least rts are set up it's, it's, be... it's good for Canada. yeah but this means stray isn't gonna turn yeah. so it's a different fight you see see because he didn't quit out stray attacks forwards which is a little uh annoying and also there's a chance he's got followed in by some hollows. Wow. oh my god that's Really oh, this bad. is bad. <laughs> yeah, he still made it out, and thankfully Stray dealt with the hollows for him, but yeah, he's going to lose time here, I think. Well, he'll save a little bit of time, uh, because he didn't have to jump down twice, I guess. Maybe he's going to be even... But, but the I fight would have so. been slower. Yeah, the fight was a fair bit slower. We saw, actually, while while we were away, we had the Olsku uh, died to ONS. He had a nasty phase one and just, yeah, went for an attack and... Uh, got punished for it. Yeah, you see, he actually saved time on the segment compared to his PB because he didn't have to drop down twice. <laughs> Despite the fact that the fight was uh, yeah. not very good. It's, it's pretty... one of those in instances where you could get a gold by 
you know, getting hit by enemies, but people don't go for that. But yeah, mm. he could like improve the goal by, you know, four or five seconds. I don't know one thing, like how the timing would work out for the uh, the old uh, Meldraker setup, where you'd, you'd um, drop from the elevator, and take like the first bit of damage. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of awkward to set uh, without like a pop, like a salt pop. Yeah, up. we we did have uh, like in one of the old BKH routes, you actually did that, but you used like um, just boss souls and humanities or just anything that takes the right amount of time, you know. But I guess you could you could probably just line it up as well. But I don't know whether that would actually save you time over the double drop, and the double drop does get you the nice uh, straight demon AI. Allows you to do yeah, like um, th that AI would be bad for Stray if you did Dark Bead because with Dark Bead you don't want that. But with Great Heavy Solar, it's definitely much better to have him turn around. Mm. It's gonna be interesting for Catter in these next few splits, of course, because like um, there's a little bit of variance at the start that he's got to work with. But um, the next kind of like I want to say three, four splits are super tight to try and stay on pace here, like less than a second between most of these upcoming splits. Um, and I think uh, we know we know that Kata has a, has a fair bit of like time saved towards the end of this run. It's going to be in interesting to see how much he can like prevent in terms of time loss and kind of hold on to that as much as possible between like here and like I want to say a Sif maybe starting DLC kind kind of time. Yeah. So th this this sort of uh, segment is kind of like a little bit of uh, I suppose calm between the ONS segment and the DLC. I mean, there's still a lot going on, but it's a lot less uh, random, I suppose. Um, most of this is... It's just a case of, you know, Sif can troll you a bit, but other than that, uh, most of it's, like, just execution. And staying consistent. Saw the Hydra earlier. Mm. Set up for RTSR, nice and simple. Yeah. It's always such it's an imposing boss, the Hydra, <laughs> and then this this setup just puts him away in seconds. <laughs> well, technically not a boss. Uh, that's yeah. like a common question sometimes. Like, why do we consider this Hydra a boss and not the one in Ash Lake? Um, it's because we don't. Uh, we actually need to kill Hydra to access the DLC. This is technically not a required boss for the category, but it's just necessary to access. Because uh, the DLC is like very, such a convoluted way to access. Like it's kind of weird. Like if you think about it, like back in the days, like in 2012 when the DLC released, imagine like you just pay 15 bucks for a DLC and then you can't even find how to get there. And turns out that you need to do those like five very complicated things in a specific order. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of this stuff was it was like there, you know, beforehand as well. <laughs> but only. Uh... Yeah. Uh, was it the the blue golem in in uh, in Duke's archives was there yeah, for the, the DLC, the... but it didn't, didn't drop, drop anything. The... Yeah. But now he does. So it's like... But only. <laughs> Like he drops things, but only if you free dusk from the uh, the golem here. Okay. What's the connection? I don't know. Yeah. Time is convoluted, I suppose. Anyway, so yeah, this is this is like the one reason that magic um, is not the route. Well, one of the main reasons magic is not the route in the uh, original release is because you have to roll all the way over here. And this takes about like I don't know, like fifty seconds or something, mm -hmm. something in those sort of that sort of order, which is huge, you know. But then, like Calamite saves like eighty seconds, and you can't do Calamite unless you free, you get, you go to dusk here. So yeah, and then and in, and in the or, the original, there's the difference also that we don't have uh, the pocket framed. We don't have quantity yeah. usage, so you can't get souls as quickly. So if you did, if you tried this route in the original, you would end up with way less damage in the early game, uh, and uh, also uh, the remaster. You, if you don't want to use magic, the only other choice you have is the Black Hat Halberd, but the uh, original has move swapping, so you can do much more damage much more early yeah. on. So things changes quite a lot. That Break makes out, yeah. this route not faster in the in the original. Break out the great sword. Yeah. 
Looking around to the wider screen as well, we've got uh, Iron Boy looking pretty good, entering Anor Londo about 20, or roughly 20 seconds out, I think it's 18.8 or 18.6. Um, some resetting going on from Olsku, Mintius on a pretty good pace, I think. Um, yeah, much closer to his, uh, he's again comparing against uh, Gold, so uh, I think maybe about a few-ish seconds just off. Then uh, just in uh, in Archives, which is where Kata is just headed. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dan yeah, actually... started doing runs as well, which yeah. is good. Dan is actually, uh, he does the bosses in a slightly different order, so it, it looks like he's ahead in terms of where they are in the run. Um, but actually, he's still got to do Butterfly, whereas Catalyst's already uh, has already done Butterfly. Yeah. Which is, it's that, that's one of those things that comes from like, um, I guess, which version of the route you started from and where the changes have been put in. Because it used to be that Butterfly was where you you duped. Dan, oh please, no. Wow. Okay, oh. well, um... So, yeah. The, uh... uh Channeler not being kind. Unfortunately. So, that's a reset for Dan. He's been having a bit of a tough time of it. Bless him. He's uh, really never struggling to... I think that's... I don't want to say it's the furthest he's got today, but it's one of those things where it's kind of like around this point, uh, been struggling to kind of get into the 30 minute mark. Yeah, it's not the best place to reset because, you know, the, the interesting part is kind of the DLC. So when you get a run past to NS but not to the DLC, it can be a bit frustrating. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like once a run is past to NS, you feel like it should generally make it to the DLC. But, you know, there are still things that can trip you up. And if you're going for that, um, that pathing path down the middle, which is slightly faster, it is kind of also, you know, that's giving yourself an opportunity for that uh, channeler to just dance in your face. Mm. As you were saying, Catalyst now entering the Duke's archives as well. We'll see if he can, like, uh, get past the channeler this time. There's a, a couple of important things about the uh, Duke's archives. They're specifically uh, grabbing the uh, strong magic shield to pick up uh, through this point on the way to sea, uh, which is... Pretty much, uh, yeah. I think I think allows the Calamite strat to even be possible as well because you need to like guard against the magic. Yeah, breath. yeah. That, that was part of it. Uh, was just having this up warp thing. It's like, oh, well, you can land here, and right here is this magic shield. And we just had like, um, Carmel working out the uh, the magic shield uh, strat for one hundred percent in Prepare to Die. It's like mm -hmm. so knew that could work. Um, and so yeah, there you go. Catalyst yeah, just uh, getting let past, whereas Dan got blocked. Mm. Um, so yeah, once once we had like those pieces in place, it was kind of just a case of, all right, well, how much time does this save? Because um, like, you've got to get, you now have to pick up this spell, and you have to, um, you know, you have to do this Calamite fight, which is a slower fight, but it's a lot faster than, uh, than running around. And it makes it, I don't know, I like what it does to the, the DLC sort of pathwise. Because getting the uh, the crest key is like really sort of, it's a it's a diversion. Like when you when you don't need it, you just go straight across. But if you need the crest key, you've got to sort of do this whole trip through this building on the on the left as you run towards Manus. And it's yeah, uh, with an annoying monkeys next to the chest. As yeah, well. so this stuff, and you have to deal with the mimic and extra casts of hidden body because spooky. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice what it does to the DLC. Um. Yeah, being sure that uh, he's behind the pillar when the channeler casts his spells, because that would kill him with this amount of HP. Okay, come on, Iron Boy. You can get through ONS. Uh, Did get that here. Not, not the best go. fight, but I think... Uh, okay, if he can get... He needs one more hit, I think, on Onstein. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, I think the shovel cleared in time, so he's not going to have to worry about uh, that, hopefully. Have we seen a, a lingering hitbox yet? No, because I think uh, Elder Runners are aware of that anyway, so even yeah, if you it... You can be aware. <laughs> it's like, you can be aware it's still run in, but yeah. Yeah. But I don't think we've seen one. Think no. maybe, maybe can, someone can here. correct me, but... Yeah. Because I, I haven't watched the uh, the whole event. <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty decent phase two. 
Um, oh, I don't know what happened to Mintius. He's... Oh, he hasn't split, right? That's that's what happened to Mintius. <laughs> he oh. didn't split Iron Golem. I'm looking, he's going like 50 yeah. seconds in the red. It's like, what what the heck happened? It's like, Hopefully oh, he right. notices. and He's still on Iron Golem. Split. Yeah. Maybe he'll notice like when he gets to ONS or something. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah. Or does he just... No, surely he doesn't actually split there. I don't know. What? Uh, Maybe he just doesn't have a consistent split time. That would be very strange if he actually yeah. split. Like, did we just not no. notice that does he always splits there? I, I, I would have thought he doesn't. I would have thought he normally split on the, the quit out, but um, I guess we'll see. Yeah. Meanwhile, Catalyst, uh, easy, uh, consistent boss here, Seath. Yeah. Just uh, cast hidden body so you don't get clams, and then just uh, five soul spears. Uh, after destroying the crystal, it's that's pretty uh, Ooh, and a gold. comfy. Like the oh, and a gold. Yeah. There are some routes where Seath can be kind of uh, kind of scary, although most of them now are. Uh, it's a lot better. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Seath is a yeah. Sif has been playing up every now and then, but we'll see if um, Kat can get a good one. Only a three-second uh, potential time save on Sif. Uh, doesn't seem like. I'm trying to think here um, in terms of like... Yeah, it's like, like Sif is fairly consistent. A lot of your time save is probably quite often like the, the knight. Or if Sif jumped away, mm. which is, which can happen, but, you know, hopefully. I'm not, I'm not, uh, <laughs> not cursing anything, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I guess we, what we can do is we can see this one out. Um, it, it, it is DLC coming up for up for Kata. We, we we've had a horrible history of always watching Kata, uh, having Kata on the main screen for Guardian and Guardian doing Guardian things. Um, so I'm kind of hesitant to uh, have that up. We've got a few runners at the beginning again. Iron Boy looking good though. Got out of ONS, still ahead. So yeah, Mintius about nice. to do yeah, his got, ONS. Mintius about to do ONS. Right, that's uh... Uh, he's got the jog opening. So that's good. still got the hit. Is he going to get the second? Yep. Yeah, but he also got a jump. Yeah, so no stagger. Uh, oh, 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 oh my god. Just getting the kill in time, okay. okay. That'd be good. So talking about lingering, there is, yeah, there, there is probably a lingering a hitbox, hitbox in here, but Ready. he shouldn't go anywhere near it. So that's that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I think he went on okay. the first pillar because of that here. Yeah. Yeah, we also got a uh, a pretty flat yeah, time as well for Catalyst. Didn't lose any time, didn't save yeah, any time. So. Pretty consistent, Sif. Pretty nice. Uh, okay, it's looking all right. We get the next cast in and not hit the... Oh, he yeah, locked on and that, that just hits the Yeah, pillar, cause... you don't want to lock on when he's exactly behind the pillar. Yeah, there's like a, a point in his animation where you, like his center of his hitbox and where you lock on to does like move up. And so if you cast a great heavy and get it at like that point, you're okay, but most of the time it'll just hit the pillar. Indeed, indeed. Uh, right then, so having a look at this, we've got the DLC about to start for Catalyst. Um, I'd like to come back to that when he comes towards the end of the DLC. Um, but I think it might, might be nice to catch up with someone else. We have had Cat up, up for a while. Any takers for you guys? Um, let's... Uh... Oh, Iron Boy does some different routing, doesn't he? Uh... Well, I don't <laughs> know. He's going, for, he's, he's, he's going for Sif now, yeah. I guess we can, because uh, we can watch Kata do Guardian and then switch to Iron Boy. Yeah, for Sif. let's do that because everyone else has got a bit of running before they get to the next uh, next boss. Mm -hmm. All right then, let's see how it goes. Let's see Guardian, that's that's never gone poorly for us. <sighs> oh, yeah, two seconds to save. Depending on that first action. Again, we, we want to see melee. It's a bit the best thing to see. No lightning. Okay, good. Yep. Oh, that's really good, yeah. He's gonna get... So, one of the cool thing with this attack, nice. the wind attack, uh, that's one of the reason you want to do left sides uh, for Guardian. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, when you get hit on purpose by uh, Guardian's wind, if he has enough space in front of him, he will charge which is an attack that you need to roll. Um, but if there's a wall behind you, like you do, when, like you have when you do left side, uh, he can't do the charge, so he will instead uh, do a lightning attack. And in that case, it's perfect because you can just uh, cast another spell and kill him. So uh, yeah. yeah, that was very, very nice RNG here. 
as long as you've got the the damage like Kata does, then it's 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 mm -hmm. pretty good. It's... it's a little bit of time save there as well, so that's looking good. Um, we have Gentoff back as well. It's just starting another run. Yeah. It's nice to see. <laughs> um, see, so yeah, let's have a have a look at that Sith Sith fight from Iron Boy. We'll just jump yep. over over there for a little bit, but we'll keep our eyes on Kata because he is on a good pace going into DLC and getting through DLC. So. Uh, based on how that goes on the way out, might be looking at a, at a run to watch because that is looking very nice. I think Kata might, yeah, Kata is going to reach Artorias before Iron Boy reaches Sif, actually. That'll be fine, don't worry. Yeah. Um, but he's looking good right now. I, I think it's just one of the things about having a look at, at some stats from Iron Boy. Currently 13 um, seconds ahead. And oh, this split is actually a goal wanted. for him. So. Yeah, he's going to try, I guess, to set up RTSR again, but he's still getting one-handed. Yeah, you can see him shaking his head. He's like, okay. And... This this one is salvageable, but I think, like, yeah, yeah that, that works. That. <laughs> that do it. But, uh... Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kata got caught. Speaking of uh, Artorius, yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate. Was that just, like, a late dodge, do you reckon? Or was it just uh, the actual action itself being a little bit unfortunate? I didn't see the actual death. I, I just saw the death. I just saw, yeah, the. It was kind of like, like the wide angled thing. stab that kind of, kind of like comes around and then stabs forward. But like, it looked like Catalyst was going to, you know, Artorius's left. Um, I don't oh, think a roll. Well, I, don't, I don't, don't think a roll came out essentially, and that's what caught him. What was that miss for Min Mintius? Did you see that? Yeah, he uh, was locked on, and the uh, arrow went in between Stray's legs. <laughs> oh, nice. I haven't seen that one. I've seen Stray, like, turn and dodge when you lock on. That's always good, because it's like, yeah, huge target Stray Demon, right? It's like <laughs> yeah, and massive still thing, missed. and he just turns slightly, and he just, like, dodged. <laughs> All right, let's see how Sif's going. Hold on. Yeah, that's perfect opening, that's right? Good. Yeah, he's not going yeah. for... Okay, yeah. he went. He stayed a little safe. Very nice. Still lost some time though because of that yeah, having to kind of try and reset up, up yeah, the RTSR. Yeah. Lost some time there because of it. I guess some of the uh, the soul mass fizzled as well because he needed an extra soul spear. Yeah, so his his boss order is sort of kept from uh, from his old uh, routing where he did uh, gargoyles like uh, early. I guess. I mean, late. Hmm. And he did all this to get the right souls, but even though he's now doing the sort of standard early routing, he's still doing Sif and Butterfly before Hydra, which is... Uh, hmm. a little, it can be a little confusing. This Butterfly fight, though, should go down pretty quickly. Definitely one of the quote-unquote easier fights. I mean, Soul Mass, a Spear... A follow up spear. And Butterfly doesn't and... even do anything. No. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I have, we have actually seen the odd. I think, I think I've think seen a couple of times well, like a little counter attack coming out, but it doesn't, doesn't hit anyone usually half the time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, for anyone who's kind of like new to popping in, maybe doesn't know what's going on, Bray Break the Record Live is a three day time trial marathon. Seven runners vying for a $5,000 prize pool. The uh, current standings of which you can see at the bottom of the stream. Uh, from first down to seventh there, uh, and the uh, prize breakdown as well. Um, the way that we're kind of um, kind of, like, kind of checking the time is using IGT. So um, basically, the the the, so the timer is set up that when there's any any loading or any time when the in-game timer itself isn't increasing, the timer as well will will stop. Um, some interesting stats to know that we will we'll be talking about things like PBs, event PBs, and of course the world record. Um, some kind of like regular stats as well that you'll probably see when it comes to speed running is that we have what's called a, su a sum of best so it's like the best possible time possible ever if everything goes perfectly and then an another another thing that we'll reference quite often which is the best possible time which is about if you take all of the sum of best and you add on the time that has been lost over the course of of the run you'll have what is the best possible time from this point so right now looking at iron boys for example his best possible time is uh looking at a 107.19 yeah um, he just uh so He's missed the hydra shot so um lose a bit of time here speaking of, lo of lo losing time uh yeah so uh, it's kind of a lot of a lot of information to take in but uh it will make so it makes sense in time oh i lost the yeah there we go
It can always be a bit scary when the uh, golden golem jumps at you. But uh, yeah. Any of distance there. It's fine. Got to save Princess Dust, though, as you mentioned. Yeah. It's one of the of the magic buffs is the more important thing. Like, it looks like you all this just to get hidden body, and it's like, you often get the question, is it, is it worth running all this way for hidden body? And the answer that's like, no, but uh, you have to do this just to, uh, to get the crown, which is very much worth it. Because mm. that's, uh, that's required for both the, the Calamite strat and for um, one king. It's also worth noting that um, Dusk asks you a very important question when you free her. Uh, like, there's a yes or no prompt that you have to answer. And if you say no, then she will never become uh, a PNG, like, a, a, sorry, a, an, an NPC that you can summon. Um, and you don't have, like, you have just one go at it. So it's really important that you don't say no. <laughs> say yes. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's a reset. Yeah. And, you know, it happens sometimes, so, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, really, it's it's different depending on, like, which NPC. Thankfully for Dusk, you can just spam. Um, but there's um, Kath, the Serpent, who's, who they go to in order to place the Lord Vessel. Uh, you have to say yes, but his, his dialogue defaults to no. <laughs> just to... Uh, and if you say no, he's just leaves. Yeah. That's it. He's just gone and your run is dead. <laughs> and that has killed it's killed a few runs in uh time, especially like uh, no wrong warp runs that always place Lord Vessel with Karth and don't ring the bells and in fact skip killing uh, one of the bosses that you would the gargoyles where one of the bells is. Um So yeah, that's that's uh, something to always pay attention to. Is uh, not to just spam completely on uh, Arthur. Although I think I think with the uh, the way they do the uh, the dialogue skips in this, uh, you're actually safe because the the scroll wheel mouse setup won't trigger the dialogue or something. Or spamming A, you can just say no immediately, and then Karth goes okay, <laughs> just vanishes. <laughs> if you say so, gone. Te text mashing strats are real. We like yeah. those. Uh, so if you, yeah, if you're, you a bit a bit of a weird thing going on right now on Iron Boy, it's just one of the uh, the, oh. the death camp skips by using uh, full control. They can basically prevent uh, themselves from dying when they use uh, when they when they kind of activate that that death camp skip. That, that that one I believe is called the Golden Fog Gate skip, which allows everyone, yeah. which allows us to get to the Duke's archives without. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember exactly what what is skipped there now. Um, um, please go ahead and, it, and, and enlighten the people. It, uh, it delays uh, when you need to place the Lord Vessel. Right. Um, and it means that you don't have to place the Lord Vessel before the entering the DLC. Um, and like so how that ends up saving time is... Um, normally, you would either have to ring both bells and then place the Lord Vessel with Frampt in Firelink, or you have to fight for kings early. Um, and place the Lord Vessel with Kath. Um, and if you don't do this skip, you actually still need to either ring the bells or take the bonfire in the abyss. Mm -hmm. And if you take the bonfire in the abyss, then you have to run back to the to get to the DLC um, because you lose the bonfire in uh, Dark Root Garden, and that's like a I don't know forty plus second run back. Yeah. Um, and ringing the bells is like forty something seconds as well. So. Um, yeah, both of those are kind of slower, and especially if you did four kings early as well in the magic route, um, you're going to lose more time because you can't get one king, so you have to do two kings. And if you did Quelag early, um, you're going to still want Dark Bead before you do the rest of Isolith, so then you have to take the Daughter of Chaos bonfire, and that's like another 30 seconds. Um, and so yeah, that's that's what you um, you skip by doing this uh this gold fog gate skip is it lets you get first off you can skip the daughter of chaos bonfire and get one king in the same route um and also you don't have to ring the bells so yeah that's a nice time save 
We've got the uh, up warp nicely done for Iron Boy. Gets out, out of bounds, takes out the uh, Chandler Take there. Out the Chandler, yeah. And we'll go and grab the Strong Magic Shield spell, which will be used. Uh, I mean, one time for sure. I mean, sometimes you have the opportunity to use it against Gwendolyn as well, um, which is very, very helpful to her, like making progress if casting uh, Soul, Arrow, uh, so Soul Mass. Um, yeah, the, the, the biggest disappointment is you only get a. Uh... 97 intelligence, and that's not enough to one-shot the, the Chandler normally, so they mm. can't see if they get the trident, which is just uh, just disappointing, really, to me and to anyone who's ever run uh, all achievements, where you need the uh, the Chandler's trident as part of the uh, requirements for one of the achievements. And it's, the, it's one of the worst ones to get because it's really rare drop. Only 97, yeah. Actually, the, the old route had 98, and then, then we, we changed the route, and now you can only get 97. Damn. Yeah. For basically, you're stupid uh, in the new route. Yeah. I mean, it might be possible to just get 30 endurance, but I don't think anyone's tested the, the levels that precisely. Instead of 32, you mean? Yeah. Like, I definitely didn't test it that precisely. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think when I did the, the reading, I got, um, like, 32 was what I'd had from the, the previous route. I knew it was enough, and I was like, okay, you can get 98. Well, the, I'm sure that's fine. And it pretty much is. I think, like, that channeler is, like, one of the only things that you need 99 to one-shot. Just, yeah. Like, it doesn't affect Gwyn, which is like the last of the um, normal damage thresholds. You need, like, I don't know if it's like 94 or if it was like 92 to, to one shot Gwyn. It's it's in that region. I remember doing some testing because there was an old old strat where you, you didn't one shot Gwyn, so you could get a repost kill with the bandit knife. <laughs> so, like, you did Dark Bead and then you did a second parry and you just used the bandit knife. And then did quit out. Uh... Yeah. Was that, was that is that even faster? <laughs> Barely. It, it saved like I don't know. It was like a couple of seconds. Oh, as so could you, you get... purposefully get less intelligent in this route just for that? Maybe, but I don't know. It might mess with the uh, the king setup, which is definitely more worth keeping than the couple of seconds time save you can get from Gwyn. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, I, I know it was compared to a two shot. I guess that it saved a couple of seconds, so probably even less with the one shot. Not like anyone in their right mind would take the two shot, the parry RNG over one shot. Yeah, I think I had it uh, in my route and then I just didn't do it in the run I PB'd with. I was like, yeah, it's just not worth it. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's like a strat you can like take one of the buffs off or something. And you... <laughs> for the parry <laughs> we're getting close to the dlc for iron boy um, however yeah. it has been uh, enough time that i think we need to take another break um before we continue so we'll miss out on the guardian fight but we should be able to see artorius from iron boy um everyone's kind of like getting in through some runs minty is fighting seath now but uh yeah we're just going to take a very very short three minute break uh, won't be too long. When we come back, we'll be able to kind of hopefully see a good chunk of the rest of this run coming out from Iron Boy. If he can take it the whole distance, looking quite good right now. We'll see what he can do with the rest of the game. Uh, but yes, of course, we'll be back momentarily. Make sure to stress, 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 stretch your legs, stand up, get a drink or something to eat if you haven't already for a while. Um, and then myself, Duck and Capitan will be back with you uh, momentarily. So cheers for watching Break the Record Live thus far. And there'll be more Dark Souls remastered action in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.